In your home or in your car, you are never really far from L-E-G-O Radio. Welcome to the Evening News. I'm your host, R.R. R. Slugger. Ah. This just handed to me... What the slug? It's time, cruisers! <laughs> Never did I think we would be seeing a landmark revelation about time cruisers in the year 2022. And yet, here we are. What you're looking at right now are images of the original time cruiser designed by none other than Chris Faber. You know, that Chris Faber? Do you remember the Time Buster comic I mentioned in the primer episode of this series? Previously, it was rumored that the time machine featured in these illustrations was based on a design that a LEGO fan had submitted. Chris Faber has seemingly dispelled this rumor with his recent posts. It turns out that his model was a significant source of inspiration for both the comic and eventual toy line in 1996. So where did this model come from? Why did Chris build it? According to him, the LEGO group requested that he construct a model for a catalog that year. The model was supposed to consist of elements from all the different series contained within. In the end, Faber's model wasn't used, though a not insignificant part was retained. Before we get into that, however, I want to clear something up. Chris Faber lists 1996 as being the date for this catalog in both of his posts on the subject. I think this is a slight misremembering of events. 1996 was the release year for the Time Cruiser series, and the Time Buster comic itself debuted at the start of 1995. I believe the catalog that Faber was referring to is this one from 1994. Not only does that track with the sequence of events we understand, but it does feature the illustrious driver of his time machine, Max Timebuster, the original time cruiser. Max is a far cry from the protagonist of Tim we see in 1996. By comparison, Max is a mischievous fellow that seems to be on the run from the law. From scene to scene, Max can be found disrupting the other LEGO themes throughout the catalog. His disposition towards anarchy seems to align him more with the Time Twisters rather than the Cruisers. Max Timebuster would later serve as the inspiration for the protagonist of the Click comics, though really in name only. The new Max is far more similar to Timmy in appearance and demeanor. In fact, it's likely that this comic book character actually served as the inspiration for the minifigure that eventually saw release. It's fascinating to see this long game of telephone play out over the years. Max, Max, and Tim all served somewhat as LEGO mascots for a time. Eventually, we would see yet another Max serve as an idol for the company in 2010. Needless to say, Max seems to be a popular name in the LEGO world. Returning to Chris Faber's model, I am honestly overjoyed that these images have now surfaced. Speaking candidly, I had thought to try to reverse engineer the build based on the comic illustrations, and I wasn't alone in that regard. I had even started collecting pieces that I recognized, but seeing the model in its full glory and splendor now helps put these plans to rest. Although, you never know. Thanks for checking out the video, everyone. I've been your host, RR Slugger, and time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs>